In this video, we will implement an input manager. Our game will require us to get the pointer input from the player to check which space has the player selected on our map and we will then be able to place a structure on this spot. We will also use arrows to move the camera up and down and left and right to be able to see the whole map. So uh, let's start from creating a new script in the scripts folder. Let's right click, create, and let's create an input manager. Let's open up this file. Okay. Now let's delete the pre-created methods from our input manager script. I'm using Visual Studio, so I will use some snippets and some short keys to make my life easier. So what do we need to do here is we will need to get the input from our player and then broadcast it using the action delegate to other scripts that will be able to perform some action upon getting this input. First of all, we will need to create a couple of action delegates that will be able to broadcast the information about the event of player clicking on the map to other scripts. First create public action and since we do not have the action because we are not using the system library, I'm going to press Alt Enter and IntelliSense will tell me to, to use system to have the action delegate available to me. And we will be able to send a vector3 int through it. So let's create triangular brackets and let's type vector3 int. Okay, let's call it on mouse click. So this will be the delegate that we will call when we click first time on our map. Next we'll need to have on mouse hold. This will also be of type action of vector3 int. We'll use it a little bit later when we want to create a road and we want to find a shortest path from the start point to the uh, point where we are currently holding our mouse. So we will pass the on mouse hold when we reach a new point on our map so the A star can recalculate our new path. Next we'll need to know when the player has uh, stopped pressing the mouse button, so public action without any value passed to it and we are going to call it on mouse up. Great. Now at the end we will also need to have a camera movement vector to know how to move our camera. So let's create prop, let's type full to use this snippet and tab to create this property. We will want to pass vector2 as the coordinates for our camera movement and let's call it camera movement vector. Okay. And we will want to also change the property name to also be camera movement vector with capital C. Okay, and this will be the vector that we will take to move our camera. And we do not want to have a set here, we want to only have a get here, since we are going to set the private variable inside our input manager. Next, what we will need to do is to have an access to the camera. So we are going to create field of type camera. Let's call it main camera. We are going to cache our camera. Let's add serialized field to it. So we can assign this camera through the inspector. And last thing that we will need to do is to have here public layer mask called ground mask. Since we will let the input manager decide if we have clicked on the correct uh, map uh, or the correct layer, so on our map or not. And if we have not clicked on our map, then there is no point of sending the on click event. That's why we will need to know which layer is our ground on so we can recast against this layer. Great. So now let's slide it down and let's create update method. So update enter to create this. And here we will get all the inputs from the player. So as I we recall, we have mouse click, mouse hold, mouse up, and also the arrow input. So we will know when the when camera should move. So let's create a check click down event. Okay, 
And let's alt enter on this method since we do not have it. We can click generate with uh, the IntelliSense generating as the method. Let's copy this name and let's check uh, up event. So, so click up event. Okay. Again, generate this method using alt enter. And again, paste the name and let's uh, check click hold event. Alt enter, generate this method. And last one will be check arrow input. And again, we can alt enter on it and generate this method. So we are going to get all of those events through the update of the input manager. Before we can implement any of those methods, let's create private vector three int with question mark. This will mean that so it can return now. Let's call it raycast ground. Okay, and this method will simply raycast our ground, so our spot when we have hit the ground to see if we have a position or not. Let's first create raycast hit because we are going to raycast our plane, which is our ground. Let's call it hit. Next, let's create a ray. So ray, ray equals our main camera dot screen point to ray, and let's take the input dot mouse position and this will create a ray from the camera towards the point when we have clicked our mouse on our uh, in our scene next we are going to call if physics dot raycast and we are going to pass our ray out our hit so our information about the spot where we have hit our ground math f dot infinity for the length of the uh, raycast and our ground mask as the mask to check against. And let's open those brackets of this if statement. And here we are going to create a vector 3 int. As I have told you previously, we will need to use vector 3 int because we can compare its position easily. So vector 3 int position int equals vector three int dot round to int and we are going to round the hit dot point so the point where we have hit our ray or where our ray has hit and we are going to return this position is if this is the case else so if this uh, raycast didn't hit the ground we are going to return now great so last thing we will need to do is to implement all those methods that we have pre-created. So in the check arrow input, we are going to simply call if input dot get key down. So starting from check arrow input, we are going to simply call uh, camera movement vector equals new vector two, and we are going to get input dot get axis horizontal so we are using the unity input system so horizontal axis is a and d and arrow left or right so if any of those keys is pressed we are going to get either minus one or one as the output so we are going to copy this input get axis horizontal because our input has the horizontal axis and vertical for y Okay, if you are not sure why is that, let's quickly see the documentation. You can see that it returns the value of a virtual axis in identified by the axis name. And in the example, uh, it uses the default names for the axis, so the vertical and horizontal, to get the input from the, uh, from the arrows and from the WASD input. Great. So now in the check click hold event instead of throwing an exception we are going to check if our input dot get mouse button and we need to get mouse button because this is a hold event so if this uh, mouse button is held and we need to take into account if we are not clicking on the ui because we do not want to click through the ui so let's create event system 
alt enter on it because we need to be using the library unity engine event system let's call current dot is pointer over game object equals false so this will basically check if we, our pointer is not over any game object of type ui or the object that resides on the canvas so now we only need to call var position equals raycast ground so our method that we have implemented and if this position is not equal to null we are going to check uh, we are going to call our on mouse hold question mark invoke so this will be uh, here we are going to call the event and uh, what we will need to do here is to pass our position dot value so this will invoke our delegate to inform anybody that is listening to this event that the mouse has been moved and the question mark gives us the opportunity uh, to not call it if nothing is listening to this because this is the nullable and the question mark allows us to avoid the exception where nothing is listening to this event okay great let's slide it down we can copy this code and in a check click up event let's paste the same code and instead of get uh, mouse button we are got to, going to change it to get mouse button up we want to get the mouse button zero and on mouse bu uh, button up we are going to simply instead of this var position if statement we are going to call on mouse up question mark dot invoke so this will be called the, when we get our finger up from the mouse button last method we have is check click down event let's paste the same statement that we have copied before again we have our if get mouse button down so this time let's change it to down and again we check if we have position if we have the position instead of hold we are going to call our own mouse click okay great so now we have this class done let's go back to unity all we need to do now is to create a new game object in the hierarchy let's call it input system and let's drag our newly created script here and we can assign our main camera to it and set the ground mask to be ground okay since we cannot really use it right now because nothing is listening to it in the next video we will create a game manager and first it will debug.log the positions where we have clicked our mouse and then it will tie other classes to the uh, those uh, action delegates so see you in the next video